Good morning, good afternoon, good evening internet, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Economical Rides. Hi there. So, inspired by uh, Ride with Waro's recent video, uh, he was also having problems with the speedo sticking on one of his classic 350s, and he has cleaned the uh, connector up to the, uh, from the wiring loom to the speedo, and um, yeah, he's had quite a good trouble-free run since doing that. He does have a replacement speedo, but of course I don't. I'm facing an indefinite wait for mine. So I thought in the meantime, I might as well give it a go. So I'm going to run you through what Warrow did in his video. I don't know whether this is going to help at all. Um, I don't know if it's going to, if it does work, whether it will be a permanent fix, only time will tell. But I figure I haven't got a lot to lose because at the moment, as I say, I'm waiting for an indefinite period of time for a speedo to arrive. So we might as well crack on with it. So I'll just show you how to do the job. And if you fancy doing it yourself, I don't think it's too difficult to do. So here we go. First of all, we've got to remove the headlight from the nacelle, which means removing the screw here and here. So two screws and the headlight should come off. So let's do that. So this is just to confirm that the speedo is currently still playing up. And this is after it's been stood in the garage, cooling down for three weeks, nearly four weeks. So clearly it's uh, gone a bit terminal, but let's see if we can do something about that. Okay, so once you've removed the two screws, you just have this connector in the back of the headlight, which you just need to pull off. So let's do that. So, one successfully removed headlight. So and where we need to be looking in here is up the top here, there's this connector. And I've already uh, removed it. The important thing is this, this red tab, you have to pull it downwards because this locks the connector in place. So slide it downwards and it took quite a lot of force but if you pull it hard enough, this connector comes away. That doesn't look too bad actually. Um, and up inside the headlight, I don't know if we can show that. Uh, I think the, the uh, back of the speeder where it plugs in is, is probably where the contact needs to be cleaned so we'll just clean the contacts um, there doesn't seem to be any of that uh, horrible white shipping grease on my speedo connector but it's not to say that it hasn't got a bit of corrosion or bad contact somewhere so I'll just get some uh, contact cleaner in there and I'll spray both sides of the connector and we'll reassemble and we'll see whether that does any good Right, so I just stuffed an old t-shirt in there to uh, stop the stuff going everywhere. So I've sprayed a load in here and a load in the back of the speedo where it connects. And I'm using this electrical contact cleaner. And uh, I'll just let that, let that do its thing for a few minutes. And then we'll uh, clean it up. I'll probably put a blast of WD-40 in there just to keep the water out, prevent anything from corroding. But it looks very clean actually, there doesn't look to be any grease on mine at all, so I don't know whether this is going to help, but we'll give it a go. So, everything's put back together. This tab needs to be pushed in to secure that connector. So everything's back together. We'll leave the headlight out for now, we'll just test it to see whether it's made any difference. Now is the moment of truth. So as we can see here, we're currently showing 20 Ks at a standstill. There we go. Try it again. The first time it was 
a little bit freaky, but it went back to zero. Let's try again. Well, it certainly seems to have done something. Um, yeah, whether it's going to be a permanent fix or not, we'll see. I'll definitely report back. But for now, the speedo is calibrating correctly again. And that was just really removing the connector, cleaning it, putting it back together. Who knows? Maybe that's the trick. Maybe there is um, a bad connection in there sometimes. Or maybe there's some corrosion in there. Who knows? But um, yeah, at the moment, everything's working. So let's put the headlight back in. And thanks, Warro. I was sceptical. I didn't think that would make any difference, especially on my bike where the connection looked very clean. But yeah, it seems to have done something. So anyway, for viewers of the channel, I will uh, do a long-term report, let you know whether the problem has gone forever or whether it comes straight back again. Um, but yeah, definitely it's quite an easy thing to do. So yeah, definitely seems to have done something. Um, if you're having similar speedo issues as I was having, maybe give it a go if you feel up to it. It's not too difficult to do. So now I'll just put the headlight back in. And thanks again to Warro. A link to his original video will be in the video description to this one. And yeah, with regard to my COVID status, um, I'm yeah, I'm kind of over it. I'm testing negative, but uh, yeah, I still feel quite wobbly. So I'm, I'm not riding at the moment until I feel a bit more steady on my feet. But um, yeah, I thought I'd do this little job today anyway. And I thought I might as well film it for you. So there you go, a little, uh, little job you can do if you're having speedo issues and as i said i'll, I'll report back um, should the problem reoccur if not maybe it's just a fix bye for now oh ruby ruby was helping hello ruby ruby say hello ruby was helping there she is okay see you in the next one hopefully next week i'll be out riding again bye bye